And it is really interesting that you say the microdosing because that is becoming more popular with a lot of women. Um, I, my general philosophy on medication, all medications, including GLP ones, is I never want my first step to be to be a medic a medication based solution. Yes. What can I do with my fitness? What can I do with my nutrition? What can I do with supplementation? Mm -hmm. So once all of those have failed, then I think, well, now we have to, I think I would be foolish to not put a GLP one on the table. So in my wife's situation, if she were to tell me, Hey, I want to try a GLP one. And if dieting's not working, um, if, you know, manipulating resistance training and cardio, uh, program variables, if that's not working, I, I, I my, my response would be, well, let's, let's start with a, you know, the term that I'm constantly hearing is micro dosing. So yes. let's start with a small dose and see how you respond. That, that would be my, that would be my response to that. So the larger, um, female population or the, the female physicians that are obesity specific physicians, and that's what they specialize in. I have interviewed a few of them and it is really interesting that you say the microdosing because that is becoming more popular with a lot of women. And from what I'm hearing from the physician side of these obesity physicians and from just really fit females that come into my courses or my programs that they are micro micro dosing a GLP one. Do you think that's cheating? Only if they're in a sport that would say that it's against the rules for that sport. So I, I mean, what's the goal? Um, as long as it's legal, um, and ideally it's not causing adverse side effects. And we have to acknowledge that we, there are, for some people, sometimes serious side effects. So I, I, I wouldn't want to minimize that. But cheating, that would never enter my mind.